Once your scoop.it has been successfully implemented through suggestions, automatic healing and follow-up, there's only one thing left to do involve your staff in preserving the content. And so your scoop.it theme is already full of content you love and trust. Even in the busiest of times, once you've added all the resources you want to automatically add to your scoop.it theme, you can manage them from the same page in your theme settings. Under target, select the scoop theme to which you want to add this track. You can do this from a single screen in scoop. This is content control. Instead, all content goes directly to scoop. On the other hand, all content goes directly to scoop. These are the themes you selected. When you're on a page that you want to add to one of your scoop, it themes. Just click this marker. Instead of viewing retention by adding URLs to your scoop.it themes or to the scoop.it bookmark, you can add an RSS feed or a sitemap to your theme. First, create one or more theme pages for the themes in which you want to organize your content. This way you can turn your team members and employees into your most powerful content retention mechanism without adding additional barriers to the process. For each saved search, you can click edit to specify the terms of the content suggestions you want to make. This way, they're structured and easy to find when you're working from your content tracking dashboard. In a relevant topic, simply insert a link to the content you've just read or viewed. By clicking on Manage Feeds in your Content Tracking Control panel, you can add as many feeds as you like. Select Scoop without link or download your own document from your favorite Scoop. In Topics page, 